Hello, this is only using transistor circuits and today I have made a circuit which consists of array of LEDs and which simulates as if a fireball has fired or a star is falling or if a meteor is falling anything you call it but this effect really looks cool I am turning on the battery turning on the circuit now this is the effect that I wanted and I was just experimenting with transistors and capacitors and I got it so the effect is really good and I think you all must have seen this in an event or during festivals on trees the sticks are hanging on trees and when lights are off it looks even more beautiful now if we vary the frequency of the timer IC555 you get a fast response but if the frequency is too much high then it starts to fade so you have to ensure that the frequency is correct for the frequency adjustment I have used a 470k port and the circuit looks big but it's not complex at all so this is the circuit diagram and as you can see here that there is one transistor associated with LED with the resistor in series and this this is the first block and for the next block the value the, this all components remains the same the thing which changes is this resistor from the base of the transistor to the ground for the next block the resistor is increased to 39k and for the third block the resistance is of 47k for the fourth it's 82 for the fifth it's 100 for the sixth it's 150 then 220 then 330k you can increase the leds in the array if you got a uh, resistance of greater than 330k or you can use a 470k after this 470 then 680 then 1 mega ohm you can use it now the main thing is that the transistor is in a stable mode that means the power supply is given to this transistor this triple five timer IC and its output is of in the form of positive pulsating voltage of 5 volt now why this circuit requires a pulsating voltage is that because the capacitor needs to get discharged for the negative half cycle if you connected a push button then it will when you release the push button it will get a value of 0 and not a value of negative 5 volt oh no it will not get a value at all you should get a value of 0 so that the capacitor will discharge which will actually give us the effect of a flowing LED pattern so this IC really provides uh, does that work and you can also change the frequency that means the speed of the falling uh, LED effect so as I showed you in the demo video so yes that's all it's that easy thanks for watching